Here is a triangle. Its sides measure 3, 5, and 7. How big is this angle? Now I'm going to show you the best method to this question. However, without using the sine rule or the cosine rule. Are you ready? Let's go! The key of this method is to solve for the adjacent angle firstly, and then 180 degrees minus its adjacent angle is the degrees of this angle. So now, what I'm going to do, what? Guess what? Of course, extend this side. Our job is to work out this angle. So now what I'm going to do is to construct its perpendicular from this point. So here is of course 90 degrees. Then what I'm going to do? In another word, I've just constructed the height of this triangle from this point. Of course, that's it. Simple, easy. Maybe it's going to occur to you that if we want to solve for this angle, we can firstly solve for this piece, the length of this piece. Because this angle depends on the size. Okay, that means the cosine of this angle is equal to the length of this piece over 5. Very good. Then what shall we do? Of course, we don't know how long this piece measures. So now, what we can do is an equation. We can suppose that this piece measures x. Then, now pay attention. If I suppose the green line segment, the height of the triangle, is h, then we can get, by the Pythagorean theorem, we can get h squared is equal to hypotenuse squared 7 squared minus this side squared, 3 plus s plus x, all squared. Because in this big right triangle, we have the Pythagorean theorem. h squared is equal to 7 squared minus 3 plus x, all squared. However, in this small right triangle, we also have h squared is equal to 5 squared, because 5 is the hypotenuse. 5 squared minus x squared. So now I can see h squared is equal to this. At the same time, it is also equal to this. So now I can get two equations. So now h squared is equal to this. At the same time, it is also equal to this. That means these two right hand sides are equal. They are both equal to h squared. Very good. The equality is h squared. And the equation looks like this. So it looks like this. 7 squared minus 3 plus x all squared is equal to 5 squared minus x squared. Very good. Then what shall we do? You can simplify this equation. It is 49 minus 9 minus 6x plus x squared equals 25 minus x squared. Sorry, here is minus. Minus x squared minus x squared, they can cancel out each other. So these two things cancel. Or I'm going to write a full step. It's... 40 minus 6x is equal to 25. Of course, not hard. 6x is equal to 40 minus 25. That is 15. Then, x is of course... 15 over 6, it is 5 over 2. And you can see, x is equal to 5 over 2. So, x is equal to... 5 over 2. Oh my god! So then, you can see this piece is half the length of this piece. For example, 
Alpha. We can get cosine of alpha is equal to this side over this side. 5 over 2 over 5. Of course, the answer is 5 over 2 then times 1 over 5. It is 1 over 2. So the cosine of alpha is 1 over 2. Because alpha is smaller than 180 degrees. So alpha is 60 degrees. Because only cosine of 60 degrees is 1 over 2 is 0 0.5. So alpha is 60 degrees. So of course, question mark angle is 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. It is 120 degrees. So the answer is 120 degrees. If you get it, give me a thumbs up. For this wonderful trick, don't forget to subscribe to me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.